Hi guys, welcome to Bisaya 24-7, your official Cebuano English tutorial on the web. So, it's been a while since I posted any uh, tutorial for the reason that it's also a very difficult time for every one of us. Um, for a long time, I've been asking all sorts of questions, trying to figure out um, what can I possibly do to help a lot of the people who are displaced right now and are currently suffering, currently in danger, currently losing their jobs, currently unable to do a hundred things that possibly three months ago you know they were able to do we were all able to do so i've had that question every day and ever since and um finally it dawned on me that i can still continue with the tutorial because I'm sure many of you have the time to learn this um, Cebuano and Visayan dialect tutorials. So I would just like to say wherever you are in the globe, which location you are, um, it doesn't matter. Um, everyone is affected, so please uh, stay safe, um, stay protected, and um, let us help one another so that we can overcome um, this global crisis that we are facing today. So I am here offering um, today a tutorial so we are still continuing with um, trying to understand Cebuano and Visayan dialect but I think it is also timely and I would just like to share to you uh, one of my favorite um, scriptural readings so um, I am sharing to you my own um, personal inspiration um, that is based on the Bible. So here we have holy words of inspiration. Holy, that is balaan, word, pulong. And since it's said words, so I wrote Balaan nga mga pulong Alang means for or for the purpose of and then inspiration uh, you can just say inspiration so this words of inspiration is what I believe I could share to many of you wherever you are in this world and I hope you know it will it will help lighten the load that you are carrying right now and also perhaps ease some of the anxiety that um, that most of us are feeling right now So this is my favorite um, prayer. Um, it's called Ang Dios Atong Tigpanalipod. So Dios is Lord. Ato is our. Atong, ato nga. So our Tigpanalipod. Um, panalipod is to protect. Panalipdan. 
So tig panalipod is somebody who protects, one who protects. So tig panalipod is protector. Now this is based on the um, Christian Bible. So this is uh, Salmo 91. Salmo 91 or Psalm 91. So this is just a, like, like a personal a personal thing that I would like to share to you. And, you know, I'm hoping that the words would be able to ease um, whatever challenges you're facing right now and provide a sense of comfort to you. So please read on. I promise that um, you will learn uh, a few words because I'm going to translate it as we go along. So the first one is Ang Mudangop Salabing Halangdon. So Ang Mudangop Dangop is to seek uh, help. So if you want to ask for help, you go to the person. So you are the person who is trying to, to seek help. You are the one who is Mudangop. So whoever seeks help or seeks protection or asks for help, mudangop sa of labing halangdon. Halangdon is praiseworthy, honorable. And when you say labing, Pinakalabi, it means most, or so it's an expression of a superlative um, context. Ang modangop sa labing halangdon. So I can just say, whoever seeks the help or seeks the protection of the most high. Or the Almighty, Labing Halangdon. Ang magpabiling ubus sa pagbantay sa Labing Gamhanan. Magpabilin is remain. Ubus is under. Sa pagbantay. Pagbanta is the act of watching. Sa labing gamhanan. Again, we have the labing, which is a superlative expression of the most. So gamhanan. Powerful. So whoever stays under, whoever remains under the care the protection of the most powerful. Makaingon sa ginoo. Ingon is say or speak or talk. Ginoo is um, God. So, this means can say to God or you can also say can say. Maka is, is um, implying that you have the ability. So, makaingon, that means you can say. Makaingon, that means you can talk. Makaingon, that means you can speak. Makaingon sa ginoo will be able to say to God Ikaw ang akong manlalaban og tig panalipod Ikaw you ang ako mine 
man lalaban is um, one who will um, fight for you. So one who will defend you. So that means man lalaban is your defender. Ug tig panalipod. Panalipod is to protect. Panalipdan is, you know, protected. So tig, tig is someone. Someone that does something. So tig panalipod is a protector. So you, ikaw, ang akong my defender manlalaban ug ug and tig panalipod protector you are my defender and protector ikaw ang akong dios ug kanimo nagsalig ako ikaw you Ang akong, my, mine, Dios, Lord. Og ang, rather og, and kanimo, that means you, nagsalig ako. So I am trusting you. You are my Lord and I trust in you. Gikan sa tanang katalagman nga wala mo hisayri. Gikan from sa tanan. Tanan is all. Katalagman, that's calamity or even a, a plague. Or anything that's dangerous, any form of danger or threat to life. Nga wala mo hisayri. That wala nan mo is you. Hisayri, it is a word that was derived from sayud. Sayud means no. So, hisayri, something that you know. But since it says, wala mo hisayri, so the wala imposes a negative context. Wala mo hisayri. So, something that you didn't know. So, from all calamities that you didn't know, that you wouldn't know, that you are not aware of. Ilikay kagayod niya. Ingun man sa tanang sakit nga makamatay. Ilikay, that means he is going to spare. So, his protection will spare you. It will it will miss you in a way because he will be there to make sure that you will be spared. So ilikay ka ka that means you. Gayud expresses certainty. Like it's it's for real, like it's for sure. So there is an emphasis of certainty. Niya meaning the Lord. Um, him, ingon man, same as, sa tanang sakit. Tanan is all, sakit is disease. Nga, that, makamatay. Can, kill, matay. Uh, makamatay is from the, the root word patay, which is dead. Or death. So all tanang sakit nga makamatay, 
all deadly diseases. Ilikay kagayod niya, so he will spare you as well from all disease or diseases that can kill or diseases that are deadly deadly tabunan kaniya sa iyang mga pako tabun is to cover so tabunan he is going to cover ka ikaw you niya is him sa iyang mga pako pako is wings his wings so he will cover you with his wing wings because that's pako is wing when you say mga pako that's plural Og, so that means and, dili. So it's another um, negation. Dili ka gayud ka you. Gayud is again an expression of certainty. Maunsa. So unsa is like if unsa is something that happens. So maunsa meaning something is going to to happen to you but since it says dili maunsa dili maunsa so nothing will happen to you so you in a way will not be um affected you will not be touched Ubus sa iyang pagatiman. Ubus, that is under. Sa iya, another pronoun, which means his pagatiman. Atiman is to, to take care. So, atiman is, pagatiman is his, under his care. Care. Ang iyang pagka maunungun. His maunungun. When you say muunung, that means you remain faithful. So, ang iyang pagka maunungun, it now becomes into a pronoun. His faithfulness manalipod. So, will protect Og magbantay kanimo will protect and will watch watch over kanimo you so his faithfulness will protect and watch over you dili ka unya mahadlok sa mga katalagman sa kagabhion. So, dili not ka you unya unya meaning to say in the event if it happens if this thing ever happens mahadlok so it's going to um, it's supposed to happen. You're, it's still bound to happen. Hadlok is fear, to feel afraid. So he is saying, Dili kaunya mahadlok. That means you won't feel afraid. You will not have fear. Sa mga katalagman. So katalagman is calamity mga so calamities sa kagabhion gabi is night time 
So when you say kagabhion, it could mean anything that happens during nighttime or anything that happens in the darkness. Ni sa mga pagbanhig panahon sa adlaw. Ni is used to um, express neither. So when you're, you're speaking of two um, negative statements and you want to join them, so you use the word neither. So this ni means also you will not. So ni is shortened, shortened form for saying ug usab dili ka unya mahad look. So it's like it's repeating um, the the context that similar thing will happen so if you were not afraid of the calamity that will happen in the darkness neither of the pagbanhig a banhig is like an attack or an ambush unexpected um, threat panahon sa adlaw so panahon that's time Adlaw is daytime. Panahon. So it's during the day. Neither the attacks or the threats during the day. Ni sa mga sakit nga muhampak diha sa kangitngit. So again, expressing the same. Neither, you know, the sakit is the disease mga sakit the diseases nga muhampak muhampak is like to imagine like a, a, a wave you know a wave uh, like crushing against um, a, a, a bedrock on the shoreline so it's like a, a strong crushing so it's just um, a figurative way of expressing like a, a serious uh, threat, you know, the, the kinds of um, diseases that could attack, could threaten you. Diha, so right there, where? Sa kangit ngit. Kangit ngit is darkness. So neither the diseases that could come or that could impair you during the darkness, that could plague you during the darkness. Ni, again, another. Neither sa kadautan. Kadautan is, is like the all forms of, of dangerous stuff or destructive stuff. So kadautan. Nga mulaglag. Laglag is to um, destroy. Destroy. Sa panahon sa adlaw. So neither that destruction that will will kill or will attack or will overcome but um lag lag is me means um you will be you will be unfortunate you know you will be unfortunate if you are one of those that are considered na lag lag so you will be victimized so neither against the the dangers that victimizes or attacks or um, threatens you sa panahon sa adlaw panahon the time adlaw is 
day. Ni sa kadaotan. So that's like four statements that's supported but by um, the same context. None, 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 none. So neither of these things will befall you. Mahimong mga pukan ang usa kalibo diha sa kiliran mo. Mahimo, meaning to say it's possible, mga pukan, pukan is like to fall or crumble. So mga pukan ang usa kalibo. One libo is thousand. Diha, where? So diha, there, there. Diha is there. Sa kiliran mo. So that is kilid or your side or, you know, right behind you. So it is possible that a thousand will fall behind you. Napulo kalibo, libot kanimo. So, napulo is ten. Kalibo. Um, that's ten thousand. Libot is around. Kanimo, you. So, ten thousand around you. Upon, but, dili, not, Kagayod maunsa. So maunsa again is something is going to happen to you. So since it says dili maunsa and gayud is really, so it's it's a certain um, expression of you being uh, safe. You know, there's a certainty that you will be safe and nothing will befall you you will not be harmed you will not be touched makita mo unya unsaon pagsilot ang mga daotan makita kita is to see so makita is you will see you are going to see mo you Unya, so later, so it will be shown, it will be proven how unsaon pag silot, that is silot is punishment. So pag silot is the act of punishing ang mga daotan. So daotan is the evil. Mga daotan, these are the evil doers or the sinful ones or the crooked ones kai gihimo mo man ang ginoo because himo is made so gihimo himo is to make gihimo made so it's a thing in the past Kai gihimo mo you man man is emphasis ang ginoo the Lord or our God nga imong man lalaban your um, defender you know, someone who defends you, and you could also say protector. So, this means because you have made the Lord, your our God, your protector and defender. Ang labing halang dun nga imong tig panalipod so 
the most high, the most powerful, the most um, almighty. Nga imong your tigpanalipod. So your protector. Walay katalagman nga mudangat kanimo. So no calamity or danger will come to you. Mudangat, meaning it will arrive or it will reach you. So you could just say no dangers will befall you. No calamities can come near you. No calamities will arrive wherever you are. So it's, it's again a promise that no dangers w will ever reach your end. And here it's even more specific. Walay kadaot. So there's no kadaot evil. We can just say there's no evil that will arrive. Muabot, abot. So abot or dangat, they're the same. It's like they will arrive. They will come. So walay kadaot nga muabot. Duol. Duol is near. Sa imong your puloy anan, your your dwelling place, puloy anan, or your home, or your abode. Walay kadaot nga mo abot dool sa imong puloy anan. No danger or evil will come near your home, your abode, or your dwelling place. Pabantayan ka sa Diyos sa iyang mga anghel. Bantay is to watch, to guard. So, pabantayan, that means somebody will be assigned to watch. Ka, you, sa Diyos, by the Lord, sa iyang mga anghel. So, His Angel, you know, angel is angel, mga angel, angels. So the Lord will assign his angels to watch over you. Aron, so for the purpose of, or you can just say so. Pag panalipod, again, panalipod is to protect or defend. Kanimo, you, bisan. So, no matter what, no matter, here, let's just finish the context. It says, asa ka paingon. Paingon is, you know, you go in this direction or in the other direction or in a different direction. So, this simply implies that wherever you go, so, bisan asa ka paingon, no matter where you go, bisan asa ka paingon, no matter where you go, aron, so, to protect you, no matter where you go. Bayawon kanila sa ilang mga kamot. Bayaw is to is to raise. So, um, just imagine if, let us say, you have a you have a a, a a blanket. You're holding a blanket, and you are careful uh, uh, for that blanket not to touch the ground. So you raise your arms a little higher, you know, 
I grace, you raise your arms. Bayaun. So in a way, you will be raised using somebody's arms. So in this case, it's the angels. Kanila sa ilang mga kamot. So it's even specific. Kamot is hand. Mga kamot is hands. Plural of hand. So they will raise you up with their hands. Who? The angels. Aron, Aron is again so or so that. Dili maunsa. Maunsa is something happening. But when it says dili maunsa, so nothing is going to happen or nothing will, will affect or nothing will cause harm. Aron dili maunsa. So, Dili Monsa, it, it will remain, you know, untouched. Sa mga bato ang imong tiil. Sa mga bato. Bato is um, stone or rocks. Or just imagine something that's hard and rugged. Ang imong tiil. Your, your foot, you know. So, it's saying your foot will be untouch and harm because the angels will raise you with their arms or with their hands so your your feet won't even touch the stones in this case mga bato tumban mo ang mga Leon og mga bitin. Uh, tumban comes from the root word tunub, which is to step. So as you step, it means you are. <coughs> excuse me. You are laying your your foot on something. Okay. So, tumban mo. You're gonna step on. What? Mga leon. Leon is lion. Mga leon, lions. Bitin is serpent or snake. Mga bitin, serpents and snakes. So, you will step on lions and snakes. Mga mapintas nga liyon. So, when it's mapintas, meaning it's, it's wild, it's, um, it's destructive, it's, it's dangerous, it's, it could be like lethal, um, really, you know, really dangerous, uh, fierce uh, creatures, beings. Um, so that's a description of you know the lions in general that's how wild animals are and then mga bitin nga malala um, la in, in the Cebuano or Visayan language la la or la is expressing something which means venomous or poisonous so if you say la ogdila it could mean you know a very a very nasty tongue very venomous tongue it's like a figurative um description of somebody who who really like speaks nasty words la ogdila because dila is tongue but when you say bitin nga malala, it means snakes, mga bitin nga malala, snakes that are venomous or poisonous. So they could kill. Ang Dios nag-ingon. 
So the Lord, ingon is to say, to speak, to talk. So the Lord said, Luason ko kadtong nahigugma kanako. Luason, luas is to save. So luason is I am going to save. Ko, meaning me, the Lord. Kadtong. Kadto. Who is kadto? That's a, that's a pronoun. So it, it, it could refer to anyone who's not here, who's somewhere, but whoever it is, who is what? Nahigugma kanako. Who's, you know, in love with me? Who's a follower of me? Who is devoted to me? Who um, adores me? Kanako. So this is um, a promise that I will save those who love me. Who love me. Meaning to say, you know, not, not just the hypocrisy, but the real thing. That you do love the Lord and... In that case, you show the expression of your love by following His commandments, honoring His righteousness. Ug panalipdan ko kadtong miila kanako nga ginoo. Again, and panalipod, panalipdan. So from the root word panalipod, which is to spare, to defend, to protect. Ko, kadtong, again, kadtong in general is just uh, re referring to anyone, anyone. Miila, so when you say miila, it's like you, you identify or you, you accept or you recognize or you believe. Kanako, believe in me. That I am Ginoo, Nga Ginoo, God. Kon sang piton ako nila. Kon, that is if, sang pit is to call. So this could be in a form of a prayer, you know. When we call on Him. So kon. Sang piton ako nila. Kun, if they call on me. Tubagun ko sila. Tubag is answer. Tubagun is I'm going to answer. Who am I going to answer? Sila, them. So when they call on me, I will answer them. Maguban ako kanila. Kun sila anaa sa kalisdanan. Maguban means I will remain on their side. I will accompany them. I will be with them. Ako. So I. With them. Kanila. Kun. If. Sila. They. Anaa. Anaa, so they are in a state, you know, anaa, you're putting them in a state. Sa kalisdanan. So that's the, the suffering, the hardships, the challenges. So in the midst of the challenges, He, the Lord God, will remain with them. Luason ko sila og pasidunggan. Luason is to save. So, I will save them. And pasidunggan is honor. So, I will save them and honor them. Or, I will save and reward them. 
gantihan ko sila taas nga kinabuhi. So, in fact, here, ganti is to, to reward or to repay or to give as a, a token of, um, like, uh, a token of blessing. Like, you deserve. This is, this is something that you are worthy to receive. So, gantihan ko sila. I will reward them with taas, that's long, nga kinabuhi. Kinabuhi is life. So, gantihan ko sila taas nga kinabuhi. I will reward them with a long life. Og luwason kugayod sila and i will save them luas is safe gayod is certain ug luason kugayod sila and i will save them so um you can if you want read an an english translation of this um Psalm 91 verse, if you have the English Bible, and what I just read to you is is just like the the literal um, translation, um, trying to stick as much as possible to the context of um, the the scripture, you know, the the biblical. Um, message behind all this um, holy words so um i hope that as you read through this prayer as you read through this um scripture um you will find a sense of comfort um aside from also being able to to appreciate and possibly uh has have you probably have um learned something something new uh, as you try to understand cebuano and uh, visayan dialect so i really hope that all of you guys wherever you are globally um you are staying safe you are staying protected and uh, you remain hopeful that um, like everything else, hard as it is, you know, this too shall pass. And um, I hope I will see all of you in, you know, the next tutorial. Stay safe.